fans often only see the most gorgeous and flashy moments of idols. But in fact, although they often appear so rich and luxurious, not all of them have had that golden spoon since birth. Here are six K-pop idols who came from poor backgrounds. Number one, IU. IU has achieved incredible success so far, but she was having a difficult family life. This is highlighted in episode 76 of TMI News. According to the show, IU's early years started off happily, as she could have whatever she wanted. The downhill of the singer's childhood hardships began after her mother co-signed on a relative's loan, and after that relative disappeared, her family was in devastating debt. IU's grandmother raised her and her younger brother in a one-bedroom place, filled with cockroaches, and they lived off of potatoes. During that difficult time, IU walked up a large hill to go to school because she didn't have bus fare. IU then briefly lived with her relatives but was met with intense criticisms and was constantly cursed at. It was then that the singer decided that she would take matters into her own hands. She began auditioning for agencies, even though she faced rejection after rejection. When she finally thought she made it, she was hustled out of her money after falling for a scam entertainment company. However, IU never gave up on her dreams and eventually found home with Lowen Entertainment. When she finally got to debut in 2006 with Lost Child, she was unable to see any success for a few years. It wasn't until the mega success of her 2015 hit song, Good Day, with three legendary octaves singing, that IU's life was completely changed overnight. The song raked in 6 billion Korean won, about 5.22 million US dollars. She went on to become the music chart queen, as she topped chart after chart with every release. Following her continuous success, IU began her real estate endeavors with the 2018 purchase of a building in Guacheon. The building is currently worth 6.01 million US dollars and is being used as a free workspace for her junior musicians. In August of 2018, IU purchased another property, but this time it was for her family. The total cost of the land and the country home is 2.61 million US dollars. IU also owns an apartment in Cheongtamdong, which recently made headlines for its shocking price tag, 11.3 million US dollars. And the more shocking part was that she paid for it without taking out a loan. What an incredible story. IU truly started from rock bottom, but look at her now. Number two, Eun Hyuk. Eun Hyuk is a veteran idol who has been working in the industry for 16 years. But most people don't know that Eun Hyuk grew up in poverty. During the July 17th broadcast of KBS 2TV's Star Life Theater, Super Junior's Eun Hyuk openly shared stories from his past. He revealed that, in the past, he lived in a house with no toilet. If they wanted to use the restroom, they would need to go to a public restroom station near their home. It was difficult to live in that house, but we did not complain. I did not like seeing my parents having to work so hard. I wished I could make it easier for them at home, Eun Hyuk said as he recalled his past. Well, say goodbye to his tough times in the past. His love of dancing led Eun Hyuk to being accepted by SM Entertainment, where he debuted as a member of Super Junior. Eun Hyuk's current net worth is estimated from $3 million to $10 million. Eun Hyuk bought a new apartment for his parents after many years of hard work. Eun Hyuk's mom even cried that day, her tears containing both happiness, pride, and also her sorrow. Now, Eun Hyuk makes lots of money, and just recently, he bought not just an apartment, but a whole luxury house for his family. In the program Mr. House Husband 2, Eun Hyuk revealed that he spent a fortune to buy a house with an area of over 260 square meters. Finally, the male idol has made his dream come true, after many years of dedication. Number 3. Bam Bam Just by looking at Bam Bam's appearance and charisma, all fans will believe that he was born to a rich family. The shocking truth is that Bam Bam came from a poor family in Thailand. When he was just three years old, his father passed away, leaving his mother to care for four children. To make money and help provide for the family, his mother owned a small restaurant. Despite his young age, Bam Bam had a passion for dance, and his mother allowed him to take dance classes. His innate ability, along with his mother's financial investment to take classes, really helped him win first place in a rain cover dance contest in Thailand in 2007. When Bam Bam debuted in GOT7, he earned enough money to buy his family a house. After hearing news of GOT7's Bam Bam purchasing a new house in Thailand for his mother at the age of 19, fans quickly shared the story, 
causing it to trend on Twitter. Nobody knew about the price, but it's surely not cheap. During the broadcast of Where Is My Friend Home variety show on JTBC, Bam Bam was invited to meet Jackson as a guest and a tour guide to visit Thailand, and they also talked about the house. Bam Bam said that owning a house in South Korea was his pride. Before buying my own house, I had tried to live alone by renting a small house for a year to make sure that I have enough responsibility to do the cleaning and paying bills myself, Bam Bam claimed. Number 4. Young. Though he's now one of the biggest K-pop stars, Young grew up with many hardships. His family was so poor that they struggled to gather enough money to even provide them food during the harsh economic crisis that hit Korea during his childhood. Because Young's family's finances and savings were pretty much depleted, he decided to quit school and move to the city to find a job and earn some money to help tide things over when he was only 13 years old. Later, Young landed a supporting role in a music video. And thankfully, he was pretty good at it. Filled with his newfound love for hip hop and determination, he asked the company CEO to be trained as a singer and got accepted. Fast forward a few years, and with other trainees on board, they created Big Bang, one of the most successful K-pop bands ever. Taeyong obviously overcame harsh circumstances and underwent grueling training to get where he is today. Currently, no one knows the exact assets of Taeyong, but we all know that his legend went from having nothing to being on the Forbes list in 2017. He earned over 30 million US dollars with Big Bang in 2016 alone, putting his net worth among the world's top earning celebrities. In the show, I Live Alone, everyone was amazed by how beautiful his house was. I don't know for sure about its price, but I bet the house itself, not including the furniture, must be extremely expensive. It's been 15 years since he debuted, so I think you can imagine what a huge amount of money he has made. Number 5. Sung Kyu Infinite Sung Kyu didn't have a comfortable life in his early years. His family was struggling financially, so Sung Kyu even had to occasionally live at his friend's house. Sung Kyu didn't grow up in the greatest environment, where his parents were against his dreams of becoming a singer. They rather let him leave the house, which he ultimately did. This guy really had the guts, didn't he? Arriving in Seoul all alone with only his bags, Song Kyu supported his idol dreams by working several part-time jobs during his trainee years. Can you imagine how hard it was for him, alone, in a strange city? It also took him many auditions before getting accepted as a trainee, but he eventually got accepted to Woolim Entertainment. This is where he debuted as the leader of Infinite in 2010, with the song Come Back Again. Number 6. Sejong Kim Sejong is known for her great talents, fun personality, and bubbly image. Despite that, Sejong is an idol that grew up in poverty. The female idol appeared as a guest in JTBC's Life Menu, and she was served a bowl of jajangmyeon, a Korean Chinese noodle dish with black bean sauce, and tansuyuk, another Korean Chinese dish of sweet, sour, and crispy pork. Unlike other celebrities who wanted to hide their past as much as possible, Sejong humbly imparted to the audience and viewers of the show that her family had financial issues when she was growing up, they were so poor that they even received support from the government, and Sejong would buy meals using the Hungry Child food card. During the holidays, when there would be no school, she would need to use her card, as she could not get the free food her school offered. I can use up to 3,500 won every day, so I would use it to buy jajangmyeon, and if I collected enough coupons, I would be able to order tang suyuk too, she explained. Throughout her whole story, Sejong continued to smile warmly, even though her past may have been tough to talk about. The hosts and other guests of the show gave her a warm round of applause for being so positive and courageous while telling her story. Sejong's perseverance didn't waver, as she is still performing well as part of Gukudan and as a soloist. Recently, on a show called On and Off, fans get to see Sejong's big and well-designed house, so it's happy for her that she is now making money and there will be no more difficult times. She has been pouring lots of effort into both singing and acting, so I hope for the brighter bloom of Sejong's career. There are several K-pop idols who come from poor families, but were able to become the top stars of the Korean entertainment industry. What do you think about them and the efforts they made? Are there any other names that I missed out on? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Be Boss TV because we'll be back with more interesting content. Thank you for watching.